welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the new fragrance from Burberry, their new Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. And I'm going to be going through all the different versions of Burberry Her, letting you know how they differ, as well as reviewing this new Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I have hundreds of videos just like this, going through entire perfume ranges, so do check them out. And if you are a regular, check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And you can also support me by signing up to my newsletter. You can check out my website where I have a detailed article that goes through all the different versions of Burberry Her. I'll leave that link down below. And I'll also leave the link down below to where you can buy all the different versions of Burberry Her for UK, Europe, North America, Australia, etc. Cool, so Burberry Her, which come in these um, squarish, rectangular bottles with the lid on one side. I think it's been a, a pretty good release for Burberry. They had all their old per perfumes that they had sort of in the 2000s. And then of course they've had a lot of issues with their brand where the sort of the wearing of the Burberry check pattern became a bit like, well, in the north of England we say chavy um, it got you know copies everywhere and I think they had a lot of issues with their brand and as a result their perfumes were often found at like TJ Maxx or you know really reduced they weren't really cool. I think this new range from Burberry Burberry Her is definitely cool. We had Carla Delavine as the face of the fragrance. I'm not sure if she still is, um, but that definitely helped. And I think the original Burberry Her Eau de Parfum is known for being a bit of a dupe for Francis Kurt de Jean's Baccarat Rouge 540. And I do think it is a good alternative. It's not exactly the same, but considering that Baccarat Rouge is like 200 pounds and this is maybe like 50, it's similar enough to, to for me to say I would get it instead to save yourself some money. So what you get is loads of different berries. So you've got cherry, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, black currant, but you also have a really feminine violet. Violet is kind of like the smell of lipstick or eyeshadow, it's that makeup y smell. And then you have an ambery base, patchouli base, uh, cashmere vanilla, a little bit of musk, and it all sort of combines together to create that sort of ambery base that we get from Baccarat Rouge 540. It's also quite similar to Ariana Grande's Cloud, but just with those fruitier notes as well. And I do think it is a good perfume. It's good for lasting, it's an eau de parfum, and it does last. You don't need a lot of sprays. I think because it has that sweetness and that ambery undertone, it's definitely appropriate for the evening time. I think for the daytime, it kind of depends, like probably not for an office or a very serious occasion. If you're just sort of out shopping or whatever, then I think it's fine but it is quite a sexy perfume, I think. It's fun, but it's also grown up and serious as well. So they then released an intense version, which um, is even stronger. It's got all those different berries and fruits, and then it's in more ambery base. They've used Benzoin. So this one is definitely, you know, grown up, sexy, good for lasting. If you like the original, I think you'll definitely like the intense version, and it's the best for lasting out of all of them. They then, in my opinion, went on a little bit of a distraction um, from the original signature scent. So we had Burberry Her Blossom. Now this one is pretty. It's a peony and it has plum blossom in. It's very much that spring cherry blossom type scent. It's got some pink pepper and mandarin orange, but it really doesn't really last. It's just like a pretty nice fragrance. Kind of reminds me of a sort of L'Occitane cherry blossom, but it doesn't really last and it doesn't have any of that DNA of the original. It has nothing in common with the original. So I found it a bit boring and I think for the price, because it doesn't last, it's not really worth it, even though it is pretty. I think it would be fine for, you know, a sort of young person who, you know, to wear to school or something, or if you do want something just pretty and light for during the day, but it's not something you can really rely on to last and have projection. And it has nothing to do with Burberry Her original. So it's just pretty, but just kind of 
too light. So after that, they then released Burberry Her London Dream. Now this is my least favorite of all of them. It has a quite strong ginger note in it, which is refreshing, but to me, it kind of smells like a household cleaner. You know, they use ginger quite a bit in them, like quite refreshing, gingery. They also have lemon in as well, that kind of household cleaner vibe. And though even though it's supposed to have this peony and rose heart, it really is that lemon and ginger that I get and it's an eau de parfum but I find it performs like an eau de toilette. So for me this was another like disappointment. So then we come to the new eau de toilette. Now I'm really pleased that this does have the DNA of the original. You really, really get strawberry, black currant. There's a really fresh pear. So I'm getting all those fruity notes of the original. But then it has a lily of the valley, a honeysuckle heart. So as opposed to the original where after that strawberry and berry, you start getting violet and amber, here you get lily of the valley and honeysuckle, which feels very spring-like appropriate for the spring coming soon hopefully. So you end up with this very feminine, fresh, honeysuckle, strawberry scent, which I think is really pretty and I can't really think of many other fragrances that mix those berries or strawberries with lily of the valley and honeysuckle. So those are quite classy white floral notes. I think lily of the valley was what Kate Middleton wore on her wedding day, you know, they are really quite classy. And then you've got that fun fruitiness making it a bit more modern. So I do like the new eau de toilette. I think it would be nice to layer on top of the original, perhaps if you just wanna lift it a bit for the springtime. It is an eau de toilette, so I find it doesn't last amazingly in the way that the original and the intense do. So you have to be prepared for that, but it is pretty. I think you could perhaps wear this during the day, top it up at lunchtime, then in the evening switch to Burberry Her or Her Intense. But if you live in a hot climate, the original and the intense are probably too much especially in a very humid, cloying weather. So this is a nice way of getting those strawberry, fun, fruity vibes without it being too much. So the new Eau de Toilette is Soki approved. London Dream and Blossom are not, and the original and the intense are. So guys, let me know what you think. Have you tried the new Eau de Toilette? Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think is the best out of all the different Burberry hers. And like I said, I'll leave the link to where you can get them all at good prices down below in the description box. But that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.